Am I going to try to beat the, uh... I am muted. Oh, weirdly, I'm not muted. Oh, that's strange. It says I'm not muted. Let me check something. Well, that I knew about. Oh, you can hear me now. All right. I was a little worried. All right. So, what can we beat the Ponzer Farin Festival with? We got through with the, uh... We got through with the cruiser just fine. Is it time for a Hetzer battle? Yeah, I think it is time for a Hetzer battle. Or maybe a Stug? There we go. That's right. What is the M41 Bulldog? I hope you enjoy Too Dark, Matty. It's uh, one of my favorite horror games of all time. And I'm still using the ARL-44 as my backup because I love that tank. And I love having the French people on my side. Yeah, we can skip the story. We've seen it once. I think that's all we need to do. All right, flag battle two on two. Ah, okay. Oh, neat. All right, let's do this. Oh. So crazy to think that this game was built in Unity. Although I guess Unity is a very versatile engine. Still, it seems weird. No! My placards! Oh. Ah, oh, they're fine. Let's all be careful. You guys follow me down here. I'm a big fan of the exhibition match skin. I think what I love most about it is that they have pointedly only painted the uh, parts that you can easily see red. Like the top and back, the parts the enemy isn't going to see. Doesn't have the crazy paint job. I knew it. What the hell? Apparently I did a 180? Oh, that's not the flag tank. Well, it is dead. But it wasn't the flag tank. No. As if people didn't know this already, I checked the stats on various uh, uh, videos on the channel. There we go. And I'm pretty sure Kachusha is by far the most popular girls in Panzer character. Maybe somebody's already done this research and I just didn't know about it. But, uh, like, because the most popular video is obviously the mouse. Everybody loves the mouse. 
And then like, after that, the most popular Girls in Panzer video is just 10 minutes of tanks falling out of planes. Because why would you not like that? That's the best thing in the world, tanks falling out of planes for 10 minutes. But right after that, like the absolute next two videos, and they're miles above everything else, are uh, Kachusha will purge you and the Pravda story mode cutscenes. So, I'm saying, people just adore Kachusha. I kind of wish knowing what enemy I was up against gave me the slightest idea of what tanks I was going to be up against, but that's not how this works. <clears throat> Alright, Amusement Park North. Last time we did this map, last week, my two, it was second or third, and all of my partner tanks never left the opening dock. So I'm going to try to order them to leave the opening dock, because apparently I can't trust the AI to escape on their own. All right, so that's the wrong button. All right, so uh, that's me. ARL is the flag tank, and I pressed the wrong button. Uh, I want you to recon this area around the Ferris wheel, stay out of everybody's way. Pershing, I want you to defend. Yeah, I know I can't control me. I want you to control defend this area th here to keep them from sneaking up behind me when I charge around the side of the amphitheater. Is the panther tank good? From everything I hear, yes. Come on. Where are you hiding? Ah, there we go. Oh, she stopped suddenly. I'm not used to not having a turret. But I am used to having a quick reload. Where is she? Behind a tree? Come on. Grr. So I basically can't see anything. What am I hitting? Oh, it's a Panther G! Nice. Not doing the most damage. But I am hurting her. There we go. Alright, let's move up, Kachusha. We got them on the run. And our flag tank is hiding, so as long as we can keep them on the run, we've won this match. I don't know that we did lose them. Oh, 
Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. She made the charge. Well, that did no damage. Oh, it's a Hetzer! I love you, Hetzer. Well, that was a little embarrassing. It's over, Hetzer. You've been hatched. Wait. The British were using a... Sherman? I'm so confused. They did not have their own tanks at that point? Hmm. <sighs> a smart person would take the Panther, but I really want that Hetzer on my team. Because, you know, of my love of Hetzers and Hetzering... I feel like if you stop asking for the impossible, you're not going to get disappointed as much, Amy. Yay! Alright, so, again, we're going to play this smart. We want to win this thing. So, flag tank, I want you to guard. And I want to press the right button. I want you to guard this area here. Hetzer, I want you to guard... Well, I obviously pressed that the wrong way. This area here... Oshida and the ARL-44, you follow me. So you think you're going to get past my Hetzer, but you're not going to get past my Hetzer. Because my Hetzer has a rock-hard, sharply angled uh, front shell situation going on. Well, that's not who I was looking for. Ah, there she is. Come on! That was brutal. Oh, you have a head, sir? Oh, wait, you told me you had a head, sir. What am I saying? That is the... That's right, double stug action. We have some stug on stug violence coming up. Oh, wilderness! I'm not saying it's my favorite map, but it's up there. Is it my favorite map just because it's where we fight the mouse? Sorry, the mice? Yes, that is that is largely why. Great, I'm free to go nuts.
Did you win the flag match? Damn! We got one second of airtime there, folks. Oh, the mouse. Such a beautiful tank. Alright. Treads from up here, but... Oh, it was a CV-33! <laughs> okay, well, no wonder I hit the treads. Yeah, I don't know what you think you're going to do from that range. I'm angled. And I'm a stug. So the odds that you were going to help or accomplish anything are just pretty long. Hetzer! Run away, everybody. We got an evil Hetzer here. And there go my tires. Alright, I'm going to destroy her tires. Would you someone sneak up on her and kill her? <laughs> Time to make my move. That's a pretty good match. And while the turn... Uh, sneaking tanks sounds ridiculous. Oh, that's the flag. While you're messing around with me, Panzer IV, my guys are just decimating your uh, flag tank and your flag tank's guard, so I still think we're going to win this one. Come on, let me help. Oh, nice! Hey, Jaden. It's true. I've had to ban people for spamming with uh, insulting language. It was annoying. Alright. Time for us, the winners, to battle a Type 10. Oh, crap. Great, so, giant open sight lines map where it's almost impossible to sneak up on her. This should go great! And away we go. All right, here we go. Oh, here we go. Damn. Oh my god, no. Jesus. Could someone help me out here, please? Farm completely destroyed. That's right. I've got three other tanks backing me up, and one who's kind of just hiding behind a hill. Come on, we got this, we got this, we got this. No, we do not. Whoa! Damn! The hell is happening? Oh, wow. 
So that barrel rotate to uh, rotates too fast. I know that's the whole point, but Jesus! I mean, you still count me as winning it, right? Yeah. Crow Mint? Well, that was just brutal. All right, Rose Hip Mission. Can I conceivably beat this on extreme? You got this, Rose Hip. It's all you. It's true that I barely beat this in five minutes previously, so the idea that I could do it in three is something of a stretch. Well, that was rough. Mm. I see what you mean about the value of staying up on the hill, Hans. But the problem there is when I was up on the hill, uh, she saw me right away and did 60% damage with one shot. So I wanted to get down behind cover. And in the end, that didn't help me. Because I kept shooting her in heavily armored... Uh, at heavily armored angles. While she was killing other people. And then finally she just spun her barrel around instantaneously and wiped me out. What I'm saying is, that Type 10 is brutal. Alright, here we go. Maybe stop climbing walls there, Hoguru. I win? Yes. Careful. Stop. Alright, we're almost halfway there and we still have two minutes. So, unless the next part of this trip gets incredibly twisty and dangerous, I think we've got this. I'm joking, of course. I know this is a disaster. God, I thought Rose Hip's special training was bad. Nope. Come on. It's a little bit farther. No, we're not shooting those bocos. As tempting as they are, because they're right in your barrel, uh, like your standard barrel elevation when you're just driving around. If you could time it right, you could just pick those up as you were moving through the level. But uh, I do not have any faith that I have an ability to do that. Come on, keep fishtailing all over the place, Hoguru. That's going to get the job done. Stop going uphill. Uphill is not the answer. I mean, generally it is, but in this specific situation, you don't want to go uphill. I cannot bear to look at the time. I know we're close.
Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Oof. That was pretty close. And I pressed the wrong button. Damn. <laughs> I see why this game should not be played on extreme. <laughs> that was terrible. Hell horror. So I guess the concept in perfect encirclement is that hmm, Mika is stealing a Pravda tank and trying to make a getaway. And the slower a tank she tries to steal, the less likely she is to make that getaway. <laughs> Tank thievery. It's an awesome pastime for these characters. You gotta watch out for sharks, Trung. I'm right there with you on that one. I also hope you enjoy Sonic Team Racing. I understand it's about this cat named Sonic who, uh, despite the fact that he can run really fast, is using a car to race around places. I don't understand it myself, but then again, Crash Team Racing was a, uh, a popular series that I played one game of once. So I understand that as a genre, this thing has legs. Come on, we got this. I just, I don't know that anything is ever going to beat the, uh, the gold standard of arcade -y racing games that was Kitten Racer, that game I covered last year here on the channel. I don't remember the title. It had kittens in it. They had cars. That's all I needed, Kitten Racing. Uh, but... I want to believe it was the best racing game ever. So there you go. Oh, that cable. It is strange to think how much of communications uh, are enabled by literally just stringing a wire across an ocean. But how else would communications happen? Boom. Damn, though! Okay, that was a mistake. Maybe stop auto-targeting? Just focus on getting out of here, Hogaru? What? No! Are you kidding me? And it was apparently based on a true story of the giant mega-colonies of uh, feral dogs that live in the thousands of miles of uh, Subway. The... The kitten in that was that uh, all of the dog, all of the Russian subway dogs, were led by the proletariat cat, who was a cat with a you know communist party cap on. It was adorable. I love that Dark Souls featured two joke characters, which is, what if Sonic the Hedgehog was terrifying, and what if uh, Goombas were terrifying? It's an amazing plot, Panda.
and it featured cameos from other video game uh, puppies. Such as that Shiba Inu that everyone loves so much. Okay. So the final one should be back here, right? That was close. Yeah, there it is. Actually, that's uncannily similar to the one I'm fighting right now, except he didn't have uh, marked up ears, bandaged up ears. Come on, we almost got this. At least the dude's not summoning any backup yet. Oh, okay, now he's summoning backup. I kind of wish we had a... Um, a machine gun to deal with these uh, mini bokos. I think that would be a nice addition. Like, uh, bring out the old machine gun to deal with the miniature bokos. Ow. I totally forgot that I had a member of Shark Team. Well, the captain of Shark Team as my uh, crew member in this tank. Oh my god, these guys are the worst. No! I keep trying to do, uh... There it is. That's what I've been trying to do this whole time. Use my superior muzzle velocity on my shells to get a nose shot and wrap the thing up. But, uh, it took me too long. Decals! Hmm. I would have to assume they accomplished that through use of horses. Alright, there's one I haven't beaten yet, isn't there? No, I've beaten them all. No, there we go. I knew there was something I hadn't beaten yet. I love all of these tanks. Every single one. Hey, Adam. Welcome aboard the Discord server. Now you will be, uh, informed whenever there are streams. Also, you can get weirdly into the Deer God mythology. Come on! That almost worked. I don't know what the hell tank Miho was driving, but it's dead now and that's what counts. Um, I don't think there is co-op in uh, Girls in Panzer uh, Desire for Power, but if you want to have a friend match duel, we can absolutely do that. I just, I don't think there is a co-op option. Or a co-option, if you prefer. What's that? That's not a thing? Okay. I know we can start up a friend match, I just don't think that friend match can have bots on the other side. If they could, obviously I'd be down for that. I just don't think that's a thing in the game's programming. Come on! All right, that was bad. Well, I think we have a, uh, I think we might have a lead on that, Hans. Because I just found out about another game for me to uh, play here on the channel that is themed around a, uh, a group of, where you play as a, uh, a sentient deer 
who has to go on a mystical adventure to stop a human settlement from despoiling a forest. I'm like, that sounds like we're going to have more information about the deer god in there. There was recently a movie about the deer god, although the fact that I can't remember the title now suggests it wasn't very good. Damn, she really thought she was going to get me. Oh, Hannah. Boom! Damn, that Tiger 2 is tougher than it looks, and it looks ridiculously tough. What are you confused about, Hans? Where is she? Oh, Yukari. You're getting taken down. I don't feel good about this either. Because, you know... You're the best at tanks. Come on! Ah! Well, largely it's because I didn't look closely enough, but, uh,. Uh, at the thing. Didn't see that it was pan Panda. But there are no mistakes. There are no mistakes in the world of uh, the Deer God. So the fact that I named the wrong person suggests that you now have to uh, get into Deer Gods. So I'm like, why did I never defeat this mission? And then I realized that on different modes, different difficulty modes, there's different tanks. And the reason I never won was because, you know, I started out playing as uh, this ridiculous monstrosity. And I just got wiped out by the FT-17s. As you do. It is crazy difficult to aim these cannons. Boom, and... Done. I assume you just said something about an FT being taken down? Which I appreciate. Apparently my tanks are doing a pretty good job of keeping the other tanks at bay. I so badly want to do a drift that hits with both. There we go! That is the dream move for this tank, to do a drift and then fire and hit with both cannons while drifting. And I pulled it off. And it turns out it wasn't actually that difficult. Ah, stovetop popcorn. That's something I'd always see in movies as a child, but never had. We only had microwavable bag popcorn where I lived. Or, to a lesser extent, uh, popcorn that comes in a uh, jar, and then you just put in a corn popping machine. An air popper, if you will. Which is supposedly better for you than popping with oil as a... Uh, as uh, stovetop does. Microwaves also use oil in their popcorn, but air popping literally is just hot air. And uh, 
it spins them around a circle until they've all popped. It's pretty fantastic, this old-timey technology. That would be terrible, uh, Trung. Absolutely terrible. Although you might have gotten some better tanks out of it. Why is this not working? Oh, right. I, I didn't see which barrel had reloaded. Damn, I just can't hit a thing today. Alright, let's try this again. <laughs> you have found someone streaming the game. Uh, in fact, in case you're wondering, uh, Sir Lance, we stream the uh, Girls in Panzer every Saturday afternoon. It is a regular feature here on the channel, because the Hidden Object Guru channel weirdly, is the number one home for Girls in Panzer Dream Tank Match on the internet. I didn't intend for that to happen, it just kind of worked out that way. Are you kidding me? Get out of my way, Shark Team! She's just ridiculously fast. But at some point, you're going to run out of gas, and then where will you be? Alright, let's do it, Desire for Power. I just want to see what the third mode of this is. Uh, what the third level of it, this is, and then we'll uh, load up. Alright, so, the normal match is Mark IVs versus FT-17s. The hard version is random nonsense tanks versus much more powerful tanks. And then the extreme mode is... No! What? Well, we're obviously going to do this match before we do the uh, online battle. So just... Bear for uh, bear with me for one minute there. Uh, uh, I know we're almost at level ninety eight. I'm not saying we're gonna hit it today, but we're close. What is finale? Right, she fights all of the captains in the amusement park. That is such a great premise for a match. I don't understand how this is a fair fight. I have a. Uh, well, we'll see. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a fair fight. I get a Type 10 and four other tanks, and she just has a Type 10. How is this the extreme level match? Did they program this wrong so that the wrong team was in charge? I feel like they programmed that match backwards. I think it was supposed to be Miho in a Type 10 alone versus Maho in a Type 10 and like four other guys. But anyway, I just want to point out that in that match, the flyby we did of all the tanks took longer than the match did. Alright, so, online match. I play as the tank I always play as, my Simavente. Uh, annihilation battle, sure. Time limit, five minutes. Hills. Sounds great. That would have worked too, Hans. Uh, I don't know if we can... I mean, I'll try to voice chat. Um, oh, actually, we can't voice chat. I don't have a microphone. This is my other uh, PlayStation 4. I don't have a microphone for it. 
All right, so now I have to invite a friend. No, I don't want to leave the room. Do, 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 do. Sir, 22565? Uh, oh, on Discord. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, hold on. Send invitation. All right, you've been invited, or invitized if you prefer. Let me just load up the uh, Discord so we can voice chat and people can hear you as we go. Okay. Such a rockin' theme. All right, uh, so we're going to the channel. We are looking for Desire for Power. We are right-clicking on Desire for Power. We are calling Desire for Power. Okay, well, we are attempting to call Desire for Power. I don't know if it's going to work. Uh, what's going on, Jaden? All right. All right, so now we just start the match, which I definitely know how to do with the sortie button. I've tried calling Desire for Power, but I don't know if it's working. Yes, Jaden, what is your question? I'm sorry I missed it. Well, no, Maddie. There wouldn't have been a war if the entire... Uh, I think I need Desire for Power to uh, press the sortie button as well. Did I mute my Discord? That can't be right. Um, it says I'm speaking. Mute, unmute. No, it's got a green ring around it. Huh. No, Maddie. Uh, it is true that uh, the U.S. fought a war to keep uh, unification and going communist, but the country was split into two countries by the many, many decade war, during the many, many decade war with the French. Uh, you're going to want to watch that Ken Burns Vietnam documentary. It's fantastic. Okay. A mock battle with Squad F. I see. I would suggest that you attack? I think I've made it 100% uh, clear that tactics are not my thing. Uh, so you've... Uh, so Desire for Power... I don't know why our audio isn't working... Have you, uh, have you pressed sortie in your match? Because it still says you're preparing, not that you're ready to play. Well, if you have Netflix, Maddie, the Vietnam War documentary is on there. It's called Ken Burns Vietnam, and it's fantastic. I would encourage you to check it out. Uh, yeah, it says you're preparing. I mean, whether or not we can get the audio, the voice chat working, Desire for Power... We should get the match going. So uh, you just have to...
There we go. I'm sorry we couldn't get the voice chat working for whatever reason. But, uh... Wait a minute, I just realized that Desire for Power has a huge advantage because... He can see where I am, and I can't see where he is. So there'll be no sneaking up. Oh, I'll, re I'll reduce that opposing team's gauge to zero. Oh my god! Look at the tank! Look at the fl tank flap on this one! It looks like it has two halves, but then it opens as one, and it doesn't have any uh, a second half on the other side. A line going down on the other side. Weird. Uh, no. Memes won't be banned, Trunk. They're just going to be uh, very huge sticklers for uh, copyright content. It's a real disaster for people who try to stream in Europe. Or really make any video game criticism, or even just run a gaming channel in Europe. Aha! Not so fast. Oh, Semivente. Or as I call it, the Queen of Continuous Fire. Boom! Sorry to battle you, uh, Desire for Power, with the most, uh, uh, the most annoying tank in the world. But I'm not good with other tanks in multiplayer. The hell is that? Oh, cool. Here, tank, 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 tank. Ah, there you are. Okay, I think Desire for Power might be away from the keyboard. Oh no, there he goes. Alright, long story short, I, uh... Whoa! The, uh, thumb grip fell off my controller as I was... Nope, 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 nope. As I was turning there, so... Was close. So yeah, everything about this uh, Article 13 is a disaster and a terrible idea, but uh, it won't ban memes, as far as I can tell. What is that thing going up into the sky over there? Oh, is that my home base? Do I have a home base in this? No, it's just about destroying enemy tanks. Okay. If I were desire for power, where would I be hiding out? I just remembered I have radio balloons.
Oh, I don't think he'll be arrested, uh, Trung. I think it's, uh, I think it's a situation where they would just fine him. I don't think it's going to be a, a criminal thing. I think it just gives them more, I think it just gives corporations more power to sue people. But I could be wrong about that. I haven't done a lot of research into Article 13. But yeah, no, good for T-Series. Alright, I could not find you there at the end of the match, Desire for Power. And I have to assume that because you didn't snipe the F out of me, that uh, you weren't cheating, which I appreciate. Oh, okay. No, I can understand that war face, but as I understood it, they, uh, they, they did make changes to the, uh, version at the last minute. So I think it's less likely to affect incidental usage of memes the way it is people who actually stream these games. Oh yeah, we should totally do a type 10 on type 10 battle. That is a fantastic idea. You cannot use the Type 10 in multiplayer. I just remembered that. Well, I didn't remember that. I checked. Yeah, that's not true, Trung. And we're not doing politics here, so no Brexit talk. So are we still trying to connect that phone call, or what's the, what's the situation on... Discord. Alright, I am voice connected to Desire for Power. I'm trying to see if I muted you or something? No, I haven't muted you. Huh. Weird. This is very peculiar. Ah, oh, there we go. I'm at a loss to figure out what's happening here. That would be great if you could get in on that. I just don't know if we can uh, make that happen. We're going to get this uh, voice chat stuff sorted out. I say we just do another match. Uh, no, I don't want to leave this match. I want to go to rules. We'll get your voice working at some time and get you the Katusha, but... Uh, sadly, I don't think it's happening today. So pick a tank and let's do this thing. Oh, you you were staying as that tank? Can you hear me? Oh, it worked! I just needed to get my computer, not my phone. Not my uh, tablet, sorry. Oh, okay. So, how's everyone's day? It's going great. <laughs> You apparently have your spe your speakers on, which is normal. It's just weird that I can hear it through both things. So you can hear the girls in pants in the background. Yeah, I could hear it on your television. It's not a problem. It was just weird for me. All right. Oh. Okay. Oh. What is the, uh... Alright, hold on. I gotta do something. If I'm gonna hear you, try not to shoot me too much while I'm doing this. I've gotta turn... If I wanna hear you, I gotta turn down the, uh, game. That's fine. Alright, here we go. Now I should be able to hear you just fine. Wow, I lost my treads just climbing here. That happens a lot, though. 
Like, losing your treads while you're drifting. If you hit a pebble, they basically go flying off. Alright. So, I hit square when aiming, it locks onto the tank. Yeah. But as I move, it, it also shakes around. So exactly. Really it only locks on, it only does a full lock uh, if you are completely still or if you are drifting. Those are the only times that uh, you'll get a full lock from your auto lock with the tank. Yeah. If you're completely still or if you're drifting, then it gets uh, completely locked on. Those are the tricks you want to do to get a super accurate shot. Okay. I know you're around here somewhere. Okay. You don't have to tell me where you are. You're trying to win this. Ah, okay. That's true. TV screen, right? so I don't even know where you are. Oh, I see you. Alice? Alice, yes. Okay. Still don't know what that spike in the sky is all about. Blue spike? No, the... Oh, you've got a blue spike, I've got a purple spike. Pink spike. Yes, I get oh, it. I've got, I've got both. Oh, you've got both? Wait, let me see. Yes. I'm not seeing the blue spike. Oh, there it is. Okay, I was just too close to it to see it. Yes, those are definitely the spawn area points. And since I'm playing as blue... I'm having devil of a time finding anybody. And I was going to say that you have an unfair advantage, but of course your video only shows you where I was 10 seconds ago, so... I don't know if it is that useful. Yes. You're playing as pink. There we go! <laughs> well, that's nothing to be embarrassed about. Yep. But I mean, I'm still driving. Like, what? What did you do? That was amazing. Now, how do I compete with that type of level? Well, I think you just wait until I land and then you kill me. But you know. No, that that for sure. How? Oh my God. How does this keep happening? All right. Well, now I am dead. <laughs> Jesus. Yes. If this were, um, if this were War Thunder, I would ask you to get out a tow cable. In that situation. I guess we'd be out of luck because I still don't know how to do that War Thunder. Damn though. Oh. Oh wait, you're. Oh no, this is bad. That was close. There we go. Down to the last second. I know. Oh, that was brutal. Wait, the HP bar in the top is still full. Well, that's not the HP bar. That's how many team points you have. So, um, uh, basically every... I don't know how much you've played this online, but each team starts with, say... 500 team points and every tank has a specific team point value so as the tanks get killed you lose that much from your team bar so if you destroy a cv-33 it they lose almost no team points because it's not a valuable tank but if you destroy their mouse they lose like almost half their team points yeah so i just destroyed your panzer 4h or four. Oh, okay. Two times. So, there you go. Alright. I've got my PSN just today. So oh, today. okay. I haven't played any on more. That would exp that, yeah. Then there's no reason you would... I should assume you knew the rules for how this works. Okay. It's okay. This game is we fun. drove past each other? I can, I can learn them. Maybe. Oh, that's embarrassing. Oh, well, with my eyesight, there's nothing... <laughs> Not a novelty. Okay. I can't believe I drove past you without noticing. 
There we go. You made this mistake of driving into the uh, sight line of my balloon. Really? No, between between you pulling the trigger and yeah. firing. Really Oh yeah, well, I see what you're saying. There's that little that little half a beat between. Right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, everybody who has Netflix, Death of Stalin just got on Netflix, and it's it's one of the funniest movies of the year, last year. So, everybody who hasn't seen Death of Stalin yet, check it out. I've heard of it. I remember you talked about it last week. I did, yeah, it came up. Uh, I think it came up organically, but I just want to tell people to watch Death of Stalin. It's a very, very funny movie. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's on Netflix now, so you don't have to rent it the way I originally did. Sorry, you had a question? Reloading for the win. <laughs> well, quick reloading is how you win this thing. Well, yeah, see... So yeah. The important thing right now... Playing it together, having fun. Oh, absolutely. As long as everyone has fun, everybody wins. <laughs> oh. Damn! You see, it's that Christie engine. It's yeah. moving so fast. Oh, God. Hold on. I'm getting a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the time for that. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's fine. Go ahead. It's a fascinating movie, Death of Stalin, because it's like... I don't know that it's historically accurate per se, but it is back. true to. Yeah. Yay! I can hear you just fine. Uh, I don't know that Death of Stalin is historically accurate at all, but it is definitely true to the feeling of what happened. Like. I guess it has mean value then. Well, beyond that, I mean, it's it's a thing. Is like, no, it's not factually accurate, but this is basically what happened and how Stalin was replaced, and what the struggle for power was like, it just probably wasn't uh, so broad in many ways. There were, you know, all of the mass executions did in fact happen. So, you know, it's just a question of uh, whether they were all scumbags in this exact way. It's so funny, it's like... Uh, yeah, I stuck up way behind you. It was crazy. Just seeing Nikita Khrushchev as a hero is so weird. But uh, I think it's a least of multiple evils situation. Oh, no. Damn! That was, that was okay. That was, fine. that was better. You want to take another shot at this? And I'm getting a call. The relatable. Uh, hold on. Sorry about this. No, relatable. I understand. Uh, I'm just gonna answer this. Hold on. Oh, sure, sure. Forgot the microphone, I guess.
All right, for everyone who is on the stream right now, a little bit of trivia. Do you remember the song that I had for my call? If you could hear it, if you can tell me what it is, then you'll win a prize. Somehow. Sorry, Tron, I don't really know what you mean by that. I might have to play it one more time. Yeah, I probably should do that. If I'm gonna make it serious. Just don't wanna bother. Guru with, uh, with his phone call with extra sound. Alright, also, don't, after, before we're done, I wanted to sing Katusha, so if anyone is interested for that, you can write in the chat. And don't leave at the end of it. Don't leave at the end of the stream, then. I'm sorry if I'm speaking too, quiet, too quietly. Just, yeah, if that's the case, then I'm sorry. If you can't understand what I'm saying, let's move on. Maddie, I'm flattered that you uh, think that way, but I'm not sure. Maddie, not really I'm sure. Trung, you're on the right path there. Oh, 
Oh, Maddie, don't worry. It'll be fine. I don't think we'll be playing it too loud. Matty, that is because I'm muted, temporarily, just to not give you any unwanted sounds, that is. Yeah, Matty, it definitely will be. Hopefully they'll add it someday. Sorry, peeps. If anyone stuck around, I apologize. I, uh... Business is business is business, and that call has to come first. Has Desire for Power abandoned me on Discord? No, you haha Ha-ha! Good Jesus! Ah, oh, that scared me. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's totally my fault. Uh, I'm just gonna switch tanks. Uh, alright. Sorry about that. When a business call arrives, obviously I have to take it. Uh, uh, that is the person who is directing a movie I wrote in a couple of months. So we have to chat about that and other things. Hatzer! So I just love Hatzer. I think any I'm really pressed. Where? Uh, any idea what map we should do? I don't hmm. know them. Ah, oh, that's fine then. Uh, I will pick one, Amusement Park South. The, no, not Amusement Park South. Um, where is it? Amusement Park, there it is. Also, speaking of things that you wrote, uh, the sequel to Get the Job. Is it oh, yes, that's on its way. You can uh, take the job, yes. That, that is on its way. I'll talk to Hans about that. He is doing some coding for me because he's fantastic at that. So uh, you will be able to play the main game very soon. I'm, I'm talking the next couple of months, it looks like. Alright. Okay, I have a hot pink Hetzer. I don't know what you're driving. The exact same tank you've been driving? Yes. Okay. Also, it's so sad that on the defeat screen there, Yeah. Miho, was, Miho looked so disappointed. Oh. I lost. Real sad. Okay, so this oh, it's a small map. Yeah, it's the it's the final map from the uh, movie. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm on this map. Uh, drift. Oh wait, I'm on fire. You were on fire, yes. Also, uh, I'd like to apologize to the people watching. I I'm really not that talkative. So I, I don't really entertain you guys. It's totally <laughs> fine. Nobody's judging you. And if they are, yeah, so they shouldn't be. Scared, you have a bubble? No. Oh, right, you start off immortal, I forgot. That's like uh, spawn protection. Yeah, exactly. Because I, you're allowed to camp spawn points in this game. There's no... Uh, spawn protection. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, because unlike in War Thunder, you can actually camp spawn points in this. Ow! Oh, that was bad. That was bad. I tried to do a... 
180 Immelman turn drift uh, thing. Oh, That is the one good thing about the Hetzer. Such sharp angled armor. It can bounce almost anything fired directly at its front. See? So if, as long as I can keep my front pointed towards you, there's not a ton you can do to me. But you are a speedy, speedy tank, so... Whoa! <laughs> You're finally drifting? Yes. Now I need to master the art of thing I guess. Yeah. Next, the 180 spin. Although, I mean, you can't do the 180 spin as that tank, obviously, but, you know. Oh, the Napoli tongue, okay. It's a badass move. Whew! Hey, Baring. Fantastic, Hans. And once the initial coding's done, I can slap in all of the graphics, and then we'll be good to go. Wait, what's the... Oh, no. What were, what were you asking? No, I just used the boost. I'm straight into a wall. Ah. That'll happen. Yes. it. Uh oh. Oh, boosting. You're the key. Are you hiding behind a thing? I don't know what you were shooting at, but I'm kind of amazed. Uh, no, it's. I'm still trying to figure out the buttons to boost. It's, I gotcha. It's thumbstick and. Trying to lock on. It's not working. Lock on's not working? No, I saw your tank. Oh, you can only lock on if um that's the thing. Whether or not you see my tank, you can only lock on if your character has spotted my tank. Which every tank has its own nice. Nice work. Uh, each tank has its own spotting range and spotting ability. So just because you see my tank on screen doesn't mean you're automatically going to be able to hit my tank. Going to the top of Mount Fuji, just tactically speaking, might not have been your strongest choice. Especially completely out in the open. Yeah, no, that would be... That would be my take. Oh... Anzu, making jokes about how you guys are being targeted. I'm almost going to make a high ground joke. Nice! Also sorry if that from last one was PG. Oh, this is awkward. What the hell?! How the hell did I, I touch you and then I spun out? Maybe because I glitched out. Maybe that. Maybe. That was weird. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not joining fast enough to. To drift, yeah. Oh, damn! That was brutal! Oh, no. Lord, a shot. And there go my treads. Oh, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> oh, so brutal! Nice. Uh, we're playing against Desire for Power Bearing. And I'm encouraging everybody who wants to, to pick up a copy of the game so we can get larger battles. Now that my, with my new internet, uh, we got no trouble uh, streaming and playing online at the same time. I, I had an immortality bubble. Like, I was not in danger killing you there. Oh, so, ah, you thought I already disappeared. Yeah. 
Okay. I do enjoy running over all of these picnic tables, though. You've turned the scouts into elites? Nice. Uh, as you know, having powerful scouts is like the most important thing in uh, uh, Valkyria Chronicles 4. No, I wait, stupidly... Wait. Yeah, you're stuck Am in a wall. You're stuck. Yeah, it's it's over. Lord Lace is shot. No, 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 wait, hold on. Let me go get inside the tank. Get inside the tank. There we go. There we go. We got inside the tank. She's fine. Uh, I, know, but... <laughs> I know, it's scary. It's uh, the, no, with, um, when I first started playing Valkyria Chronicles 4, I thought the most important thing to upgrade was going to be snipers, because that's how I focused my game. And then Hans told me that absolutely the right thing to do was uh, focus on your scouts. And yeah, if you focus on your scouts, you'll be fine. That's the Napolitan. Yeah, the Napolit the the Neapolitan turn or whatever it's called. Oh, Napolitan. Napolitan. Yes. Napoli turn. Yes. That. Uh, and it allows the Hetzer to one shot a Panzer. Uh oh. Ejavu. You've got that immortality cloak on. I did, uh, I focused on sniper first, then a little on shock trooper, then you're like, no, scout is where it's at. And it's true, scout was where it's at. And then there's basically no reason to ever use a lancer. What? Yeah. It's that boost from start that makes it so hard to hit. Nice! Dodging behind terrain. Ow! <laughs> nice! That was perfect! It went sliding backwards and then bang! It's true. Although, honestly, with the kind of... As long as you're getting S rankings on the missions, you'll have more than enough points to uh, level up your Lancers along with everybody else. But yeah, those levels where you don't have tanks to take on the enemy armor, that gets pretty frustrating pretty fast. Damn. Alright, I keep losing the... I'm just taking the thumb pad off of this controller because it keeps falling off when I'm drifting. Come on. Oh, I screwed up my reload. Ow. Damn. Oh, I was playing blue, I see. <laughs> yeah, there's, uh... It's true, Hans. I'm sure there's, like... There's, like, three levels, that, different levels that you can beat in one turn and get a crazy amount of resources to just grind level everybody up. All right. Uh, Desire for Power. Thank you so yes. much for joining us for the game. We're going to be wrapping up the stream now. Uh, can is, I... Is there something do... you want to do first? Yes, can I do the thing? You can absolutely do the thing. You want me to load up a? Uh, you want me to load up a match so you've got uh, sound backing for you. Uh, what again? I'm gonna load up a. Uh, I'm gonna load up the level that has that on it, and turn up the music oh, so you can course, sing along course. to it. Of course, of course. All right, let me just do that. We're gonna have a song from Desire for Power. It's a very famous one. Very. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Uh, Hans, which level is it that you can beat in one turn with three command points in four minutes? Which level is that? Because I know I never beat a level that quickly. Uh, alright, so let's just go to Tank Garage. I will turn up the music. And we will get a performance from Desire for Power. 
Good luck, Jaden. Okay. Uh, all right, so I should turn up the music first. Just gonna be one second. Skirmish of Ice Ocean. I don't think Jaden's at the Skirmish of Ice, Ice Ocean yet. Uh, but correct me if I'm wrong there. All right, perfect. Music's up. I don't hear the music really. No, no, but I mean it's just for the, just for the stream. I can't. Uh, uh, if I'm singing along to it, and I need to hear it, I guess. That's true. Although you could start, uh, if you wanted to be on beat, you could start a uh, a test drive on. Um, uh, go to test drive, and when I say go here on the Discord, you start uh, do, uh, go to the snowfield as well. That way, they will load up at approximately the same time. You should be roughly on the beat. Okay. What? Uh, what three maps? Yes. Yeah, so you just test drive. You go to snowfield. Doesn't matter what oh. tank. Oh. And, yeah, yeah. Go into Tank Garage, Test Drive, Snowfield, and when I say go, we'll both press start. And then you can uh, sing along with the music. Snowfield. Alright. I don't, I don't have it available. I haven't unlocked the story yet. Oh, you haven't unlocked it in the story. Oh, uh, so it's not in the I, Test Drive? It's weird. It's weird that I can't have it. It's fine. It happens. Alright, so you're just going to have to wing it then. I'm loading it up for you. I'll tell you when to start, and then you just go for it. Is there any way to actually hear from me? Hear from uh, yes, me. actually. Well, the problem is... Uh, your microphone can't pick up that audio? Yeah, well, no. The, uh, actually, yeah, I can. Hold on. It's going to do some weird doubling. But I think this is doable. Yes, I want to return to the tank garage. All right, hold on. I'm going to... Turn on the television. Can you hear that? It's, it's a bit, a bit laggy, laggy, but sure. sure. <laughs> okay. Especially when, I, especially especially when, when I, talk. I talk, I can't hear anything when I'm talking. <laughs> it's maybe Discord settings. Damn it! Uh, if, if it is Discord settings, then one can do audio. Yeah, we're, that's the problem. If we do this, it's going to cause an echo for people on the stream. Is the one issue. Hmm. If I... Okay, hold on. Let me... Yeah, that's the problem. If I turn on my TV so people can hear you, they're going to hear everything doubled. I, I think you're just going to have to go for it. All right, then. No, without the music, I guess. Uh, also, did my voice go up? I'm no, not sure. that I noticed. Oh, then no. I'm just messing around with Discord settings for a second. Oh, yeah. I can hear you just fine. As I assume, can everyone else? Echo music, no problem. Okay. Uh, there we go. Yeah, Alright, I'm going to turn on the uh, TV again. So you can hear it? No, no, no. Does this sound okay? Does oh, sound yeah. Right? It sounds fine. With the music and all on the stream. Yeah. I am sorry to all the people that this is taking a bit too long. Ah, they expect it. It's the end of the stream. We can be a little wacky. Feel good? All right, let me just sing it then, without. Oh no, no, I'm gonna start us the music now. Yeah, here we go. All right, here it comes. I'm no, without, starting it up. Without, without the music. Without oh, with, you music. don't want the music. I, I won't hear it. I won't hear the music All right. myself. So then just go for it, me. starting nowish. Nowish. Rastretali jablani grushi. Поплыли туманы над рекой, выходила на берег Катюша, на высокий берег на крутой, выходила на берег Катюша, на высокий берег на крутой, 
Выходила, песню заводила Про степного сизого орла Про того, которого любила Про того, чьи письма берегла Про того, которого любила Про того, чьи письма берегла Ой, ты песня, песенка девичья Ты лети за ясным солнцем вслед и бойцу на дальнем пограничье От Катюши передай привет. И бойцу на дальнем пограничье От Катюши передай привет. Пусть он вспомнит девушку простую, Пусть услышит, как она поет, Пусть он землю бережет родную, А любовь Катюша сбережет. Пусть он землю бережет родную, А любовь Катюша сбережет. Расцветали яблони и груши, Поплыли туманы над рекой, Уходил с берега Катюша, Уводила песню за собой. Уходила с берега Катюша, Уводила песню за собой. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you all. Thank I'm you sure all the others attention. are clapping as well. You know what the crazy part is? If you listen to this later, you're going to find out that you were like one second ahead of the beat of the song. I guess lucky then. No, it lucky. lucked. you lucked out per incredibly well. You were like one second ahead of the beat in the game. It was kind of amazing how well you timed that. Uh, so thanks absolutely for dropping by the stream. Uh, we're gonna make, we're gonna try to, as we encourage more people to buy the game, make regular friend matches here on the stream of things. So if you want to get on on it next week, you let me know. Oh, of course, of course. Uh, it's entirely also up to Rico? you. Uh, also and Rico yes, exactly. Soon? We can totally do Rico this week one night, as part of the stream, because right, I would right love then. to try some actual, like, coordinated talking Rico. <laughs> Because we're already doing okay at Rico. I think if we can actually talk through stuff, we'll be that much better. Yeah, without the delay, it's a lot better. It's a lot better. Oh, yeah, 100%. All right, so thanks again. Uh, I will talk to you soon. All right, thank you all, guys, for joining the stream. You're all bye -bye. awesome. I love all of you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, that was Desire for Power, who is, frankly awesome at singing we all heard that uh i'm amazed at how like here's the thing if i try to sing without the track going i so quickly get away from the beat of it but it's like he was right on the beat i guess he must know the song very well uh oh we are gonna wrap up the stream here with one final shot at uh big boko so, fingers crossed, we get another new uh, decal, uh, decal, no, another new skin. But either way, guide? What does that mean? Uh, but yes, uh, tomorrow we're going to be back for War Thunder, which, you know, finally. Uh, okay, uh, who should we play against? I think mid-level Boko. Uh, let's do mid-level Boko on hard. We're playing as, obviously, uh, Angler Fish. Nope. Wait. Yes! We might be getting a new uh, tank color. Uh, no. Not just a regular bear. Well, I'm sad, but what are you going to do? I love that she's, uh, even though she's battling Boko, she is still in encouraging Boko with a... You can do it, Boko! Because that's how much of a super fan she is. Even if she's got to lose, she's still on Boko's side. 
Boko is the best, though. The jerk bear keeps getting beat up, but never stops. Who doesn't love that archetype? You know that famous archetype, jerk bears who never get, uh, who always lose but never give up? That archetype. Damn it! I'm really bad at timing that shot. Right, so right at the nose. Yeah! Oh. I don't have anything better than the M10 yet. Uh, I have not played since last time, which is terrible. But, uh, yes! Uh, uh, because, well, you see, I've been swamped. In addition to all of this other jive, that is such an adorbs victory pose. Suddenly it occurs to me I've never checked what her um, power activation looks like when she's in this costume. We're going to do that, and then we're going to wrap the, the stream. Uh, but yes, in addition to all of the other stuff I've been playing, I've got... Uh, what do you call it? Coming at... Um, uh, I've had to play all of Earth Defense Force, and I'm burning through an Atelier game, which... Oh my god. So much Atelier. Seriously, though, Atelier is the best. It is weird playing Atelier game that's not strictly an RPG at all. It's literally just a town management sim. And I've never been into the town management sim genre. But now, it's that good that I'm like, yeah, no, I'll just play town management sims from now on. As long as they're Atelier themed, obviously. I'm not gonna, like... Just be a city manager or something in city skylines. I'm not crazy. But, uh... This Atelier game. Oh my god. Absolutely, Matty. We had a performance of Katusha that went quite well. I'm sorry you missed it, but this video is going to go up later today on the Hidden Object Guru channel. So we can... Uh, so it is preserved for eternity. Unless, of course, uh... Desire for Power has second thoughts and asks me to take it down, in which case I'll be happy to. Because I always respect people's choices. Okay, so we're going to go into Super Mode. Oh! They didn't do a new version of that for her, uh... For her Anglerfish costume. That's so sad. Oh, well. Uh, like, literally five minutes ago, Maddie. You just missed it. Oh, she can do the... She can do the anglerfish dance when she's driving the tank, not just when she's sitting still. That makes me so happy. Alright. Time for an anger uh, angler fish flip. You're a miracle worker, Miho. Uh, yeah, we're calling it here. Thank you to everybody who dropped by the stream. Like I said, we're going to be back here tomorrow. Same rough time for some War Thunder. Uh, if you want to get in on some tank battles, let me know. We might do... Uh, uh, we might battle some AI as a team, even. If you feel up to that. That could be fun. Uh, the point is, we're going to figure out some awesome stuff to do in the world of War Thunder starting tomorrow. You know, I haven't actually listened to the Anglerfish song since I watched that episode, so I will have to listen to it again to see what you're talking about. Angler, Anglerfish is about love and friendship? Wow. Nice work, Jaden. So it starts being about love and friendship with Anglerfish, and then you cook the Anglerfish. That seems brutal to me. Uh, so, I'll see y'all back here for more. But until then, I'm going to say, oh, revoir. Eventually, I'm going to make it clear that that's supposed to rhyme. I don't think I've managed it yet. <laughs>